Hello guys, I'm Six here, and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are again back in the 90s BTCC as it is round two of the Sim Racing System James Tumulty 90s BTCC Championship this time here at Goodwood and this time I am in Split 1. Yeah, last time I was in Split 2 but as a combination of, at least from what I've been informed from more experienced people in SRS, uh, for a combination of getting a pretty decent result last time, and also naturally the fact that less people signed up to this race, I was able to somehow weasel my way into the top split. Which meant that obviously I'll be up against the best of the best, in a sense, of this series. Uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and seeing how I fare. Maybe I can prove myself that I deserve to stay in this top split for the future rounds, if I can get around to do them. But yeah, as a bit of background, uh, I did a bit more practice for this race than I did for Donington, where I only did just a couple of laps for the race. So I came in with a bit of a tweak setup from where I ran at Donington. I thought what I had at Donington was a pretty decent base, so I just worked on a little bit more, adapted it to match Goodwood. Um, yeah, about the track a little bit. The track is very fast flowy, and it's quite punishing on the tyres, with little room for error. So it is a pretty tricky track in a sense because you are wanting to go very fast but as I said little room for error so you make a little mistake and that's going to be you toast um, I actually did struggle a bit with the final sector and I actually ended up going into Tumulty stream I was like hey how do and uh, he actually gratefully explained it which uh, helped me sort of click in my head what I needed to do so thanks for that uh, um, and yeah, eventually, you know, I built up enough confidence come the server to actually not need to use qualifying for practice and just use qualifying as well. It should be qualifying. So obviously we're out on the softs with about three laps worth of fuel. I think that's sort of my ideal lap number for fuel for qualifying runs. I like to have two laps as in case I just miss it on the first lap. I have another shot to go again. But even if I do get it on the first lap, I'll go again, I'll try and use that momentum, see if I can carry it on and push for an even faster lap next time around. And actually, my first run would pay off pretty well. I would uh, jump up to P2. That'd be the highest I'd sit at the end of the first run. But uh, obviously that wouldn't last, and I was quickly dropped down to about P9 when I started my second run. And... So yeah, I'm actually going to jump on to my fastest lap of the second run, which um, is actually the final lap of qualifying. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun lap, and I thought I'd speak you for it just so you understand a bit more how it is to drive around this track. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright, okay, here we are now. A little bit off the track, because I kind of screwed up that time a little bit. We're going to come through the chicane, and we're going to power it down to start our lap here. And we're going to keep it over to the left-hand side, full throttle down here we're gonna break just a little bit keep it in fifth holding off the throttle and then gonna get fully back on it and just gonna keep it planted whilst trying to hold the car as close as we can to the inside swinging back out to the outside here up into sixth still holding it flat finding the apex here nudging the curb a little bit going back out wide then gonna meet this little kink here and just to keep it a little bit wide there break down into fifth hit the apex here maybe eat a little bit too much curb get on two wheels break down here down into fourth hugging that inside being careful to get back on the throttle to not run out wide here, up into fifth again, then back out wide, down into third, kissing the apex there again, back on the power, and you just want to hold the throttle again down here, just full beans. Got to hold it over to the left a little bit more, because it's going to be a little bit of a kink coming up, then we're just going to follow through, hovering over to the right a little bit to then sort of drift back across to the left here, keeping it over to the left to straight the car up, break down into fourth, Turn a little bit, straighten up the car again, break down again in third, power back on out of here. Um, and then we're going to break down into this chicane, keeping it nice and cautious, and then line it back up on the exit um, to then complete the lap, which is going to net me a 116.1, which is actually good enough for P4, which is pretty nice. All right, here we are, onto the race start, and we're going to get ready to go. And we are going to launch and get a terrible start. And I'm going to drop back, lose a couple of places there. That car for the third row is going to come storming through the field. I'm going to hold the inside block off the cars behind me. 
and I'm going to notice there's a gap, so I'm going to floor it, try and power down. That car's going to go off the road up ahead. That's going to get us another spot. It's actually going to put us back out into P4, so exactly where we started. Uh, it's going to come on through here, settling it into a line, trying to just get checked with these podium cars. We're going to see P3 into this turn get all out of shape, and he's going to completely lose it off of here. Off the road he goes, and that's going to allow me to inherit P3. Um, so yeah, just to explain the start a little bit, because nothing much really happens for the rest of this lap until the end. Uh, Goodwood actually has an interesting sort of starting grid with cars being lined up in rows of 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. Uh, so actually on my row, there's only two cars whilst on the rows ahead and behind me there were both three cars. Uh, and actually on the start, I did get a really good launch, but when I upshifted to second I lost all power, uh, which kind of screwed me. But either way, there wasn't really much space to go. It was kind of a roadblock ahead of me. But as you're going to see, the leader got a bit ship shape out of there, which is going to allow second place, who actually started behind me, to get a good run on him. He's going to get wide here as well. He's going to give second place a massive run, and he's going to take the lead here. Again, showing his pace, I haven't really made much of an impression on these two. These guys are uh, obviously quicker than me. This first up, the guy in qualifying pulse fitter, Mr. Tim up there, he actually was half a second quicker than anyone else as he's going to come back fight for the lead back here and he's going to reclaim it push the bimmer back into p2 whilst i'm just kind of sat here being a spectator kind of hoping they would take each other out but unfortunately that didn't happen <laughs> um uh but yeah so we can actually gain a bit of ground on them from fighting but eh, not enough to really make anything happen so we're actually going to skip forward a little bit now Okay, skipping ahead now to about lap 3 or 4. The leaders have pulled away a little bit. But as you're going to see, the actual era of the race is going to completely dump it out of here, crash into the wall and spin himself out of contention for the win, which is a big shame given his pace in qualifying and the pace he showed in the last race because he was actually the guy who won my split last time out at uh, Donington in split 2. And both me and him obviously got bumped up to split 1 here. But now, obviously in P2... Uh, I'm going to settle into a bit of a rhythm now. I think everyone is. Um, my goal here is to stay within striking distance of the leader. Maybe even try and close the gap up to him if I can. You know, so that I can profit off of any mistakes they'll make and stuff and maybe take the lead. Maybe even hold on to the lead to the end and win. You know, who knows? It's still very early on in this race, so I wouldn't know. But also, my main thing would be to try and pull away from the cars behind me so they don't really stand the chance to challenge me for my second place and I can have pretty smooth sailing even if I don't catch the car ahead to the finish. And actually here we are going to skip to the final lap. As you can see BMW head has pulled quite a margin on me around about eight seconds. In the end I couldn't really catch him especially as my tires started to die off. As I said earlier this track is very punishing on the tires. My tires at this point were completely dead especially the left sides. Uh, a lap or two more on these mediums and they would have been toast. Um, but I did exactly what I meant to do. I stayed close enough so that if they made a major mistake, I would be able to pounce to them. But in the end, we both made too many minor mistakes as I'm going to see here. I'm going to go off the road here, but I keep nice control of the car, get it back on the road, refocused. Because also, I succeeded in my other goal, and that's extending the gap backwards to the cars behind me. I think in the end... I pulled around about a 5 to 8 second gap back to 3rd as well. And as you can see on the map as well, there's gaps further back to the cars behind them. So, um, yeah, I was able to sort of stretch out the front end of the field. Uh, sadly, wasn't enough to take the win, but, you know, first race in top split. First race ever at Goodwood, really. I have never raced this track before. Uh, to come MP2, a pretty good result, I'd say. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. And, uh... Yes, yeah, so we'll be going on next round to Silverstone, and that'll be pretty exciting. So if you did enjoy it, like, appreciate it, and you subscribe, appreciate it as well. And I guess that's it for now. Goodbye.